It's back in session for many districts in the coastal bend, but the physical activity that's typically built into the school day for students may be looking different because of the heat. Three News reporter Madeline Salinas leads our newscast tonight with a look at what campuses are doing to try to battle these high temperatures. Madeline. Thank you, Mike. I spoke with both elementary and middle school principals today to talk about what strategies they're using to keep students safe here at the start of another school year. If it is between 100 and 105, then there's limited activities outside. We hold those very, very dear to our heart because the safety of our students is very important to us. Annalise Tennyson is the principal of W.C. Andrews Elementary School at Gregory Portland ISD. She and her staff have created alternatives for the students to get their physical activity while still keeping them safe. Indoor recess can either be in the classroom and we provide games or it can be in the cafeteria, which is a great big space to run around. They can also come to the library if they'd like. If it is over 100 degrees outside or it feels over 100 degrees outside, then the students can only have 20 minutes of activity outside without shade and 10 minutes in shade. Michael Themy with the District Safety and Security Department uses a heat stress tracker to determine determine what type of physical activity would be safe for students throughout the district. At 11 o'clock a.m. and 2 o'clock p.m., we take updated readings and uh, we compare them with the local weather service along with uh, the Ingleside Airport. And uh, we make a decision on what the precaution levels are for the day. We send those out to all the campuses. Over at Driscoll Middle School in CCISD, Principal Christopher Hall and his staff have made adjustments to their fall sports practices. What we're doing now to accommodate students, uh, especially with our athletics, uh, with our football right now, um, we're having uh, morning practices right now. Um, so that's kind of, you know, going out before it gets too warm. Driscoll's cross country team is also having morning practices and all PE classes are currently being held inside the school's gym. So again, we're doing everything to make sure that we're in compliance and to maintain safety for all of our students. Both Principal Tennyson and Principal Hall told me that while the temperatures are extreme now, they are looking forward to when they can regularly send their students outside for recess and PE classes. Mike. All right, thank you, Madeline. I think